Hi and welcome to another video of Type with Me. In this video we will see how we can use marble testing with RxJS to test observables. The way we tend to learn and communicate about observables and streams is in general done with marble diagrams, right? So it's a visual representation like a schema described what's happening with our observable. When we need to test observables, we have two main patterns that we can use, either the subscribe and assert pattern or the marble testing pattern using diagrams. This video will be about marble testing with the diagram pattern. So this is how marble representation looks like, right? So we see a time um, axis and you see uh, what the uh, observable does. So in this case, multiply by 10. And so when we do something with four, we will have at the other end 40. When we do something with six, and we get it to our stream, we get 60. When we have a, this x represents an error. Emitting by the output observable indicates abnormal termination. So, uh, and when we have an eight, we will have 80, right? So uh, this is how this looks like, and we will um, represent this within a simple test. So imagine we have something like this, right? Where we have off, we do dot pipe, a map x, x uh, multiplied by 2, right? So we have here our test, but of course we need to have yarn at rxgs installed. And we need to have yarn at jasmine marbles. Great. So for that, we can just use here our imports. With the jasmine marbles, we have a cold and a hot. Um, line the cold will just uh, do a subscribe every time and the hot will do a subscribe when you have the carrot uh, sign within the marvel um, annotation but you will understand that when we go over some examples so the first example is we will have a source of an, of an, of an observable so this will be an observable and then we have the expected and this will just be a cold observable with no um, stream that's been applied to it. All right. So the next test will be the following test. This will be an observable which will output an A, and this will be the end uh, sign of it. All right. So you can also very easily assign values to it. So this is how you assign values to it. You can do that with A, and A will be a 1, right? So you can also very easily do the following. You can have uh, support for providing uh, object parameters to it, right? And also error handling is being supported. And we do that with an asterisk, right? And you can also define which error will be thrown. So then a very simple test could be following could do something like that. We have here an observable of 1, 2, and 3. And then we have called 1, 2, and 3 here, which we expect here to be observable expected. All right. So another interesting one is the hot um, parameter. So we have hot. And there we have the carrot. So from there, 
or observable starts with a subscription. And then here we have the expected, which will be B, yeah, starting from the B, and then everything else, right? So um, here we will test out our subscription, and this is how we will do it. We will have our source, and our source will have uh, subscriptions, and then how the subscription will be handled will be put in here, right? So the last one will be our actual test. So you will see here our values, A, B, C is one, two, and three. And then we have X, Y, Z, two, four, and six, right? So we will have our observable, that's the first one. And we will pipe it, and then we will have X, X multiplied by two, and then we will have that as a result. So this will we have as a result two, four, and six. Great. So one of the things that you still need to do is to add an import of map from RxJS operators. What we did is we changed the JavaScript file to a TypeScript file, so we can compile it to a JavaScript file where we have uh, everything uh, set up correctly to run uh, JSMine. So now we run JSMine and all our tests are running and succeeding, right? So that's great. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I hope you learned something from it and I hope you can do something with it to test your observables, right? It's quite easy. You just need to uh, get yourself familiar with the uh, marble uh, schemes. So you can very easily use these marble schemes and then you pick in an observable, you throw something at these observables, and then you test out that these are being uh, done correctly. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you like it. Uh, we will have a lot of other videos around crazy topics in web development. Uh, see you next time. Bye.